What to do YouTube MJ for life here back again bringing you another video I know it's been a long long time since I've brought you guys a video sorry about that um, I just got back on the state so I am back in America and a couple of other things to update you on uh, as far as my Pokemon videos are concerned I'm um, not gonna be able to, to bring you guys any more Wi-Fi battles um, I, well, I, I do I still have the game but it's actually Maria restarted my game so that she could play X and Y so all of my teams all of that stuff is just gone um, and yeah so <laughs> fortunately I won't be able to bring you guys any more Wi-Fi battles but I'll still be able to I'll still be doing showdown battles and things of that nature so it's not too bad and uh, here I wanted to take a break uh, from you know the Pokemoning and uh, to get some new video in uh, uh, there's a new ban list that got released and uh, a lot of people are really really excited for it the metagame uh, it uh, seems to be pretty open, uh, this, this format. It looks like it's going to be pretty open, hopefully, uh, this is pretty open, this format. So I thought, you know, I might as well go on Delco and test some, some older decks. Uh, so I'm going to be testing uh, Six Samurais here. I'm not really testing them, just, you know, playing them. I actually didn't, I've never really played Six Samurais before. And also, you um, can't really, it's a deck that doesn't really, it's not really hurt by the, you know, ban list because, other than, other than Gateway, obviously, being banned, which should have been banned. Uh, and since you can't really play the uh, new ban list yet, um, this, this is a deck that, you know, can still use without having to worry about you know cards being limited or things of that nature. So whatever, I've been rambling on enough. Let's just get into it. So this is gonna be the first match gonna be against Gemini's. I open up double six stand united but no way to make she in because uh, you know six stand united is kind of busted. Um, you know look at this just draw four get a whole new hand no big deal and uh, and if I had she in plus that plus like even though even though you know six stands have you know kind of had their time and they've you know they're they're not as good as they once were. I mean still Shein plus you know multiple back row equals you know good game. Like no matter what deck you're playing against. Well, and I know I won't say no matter what deck, but a lot of times Shein plus multiple back row like a Makatama plus a, a, a Solemn Warning, you know, plus a Deep Prison, something like that. You know that's just tough to get over uh, for any deck. So here I'm just you know going for typical six Sam stuff. Still summoning a bunch of big monsters and beating uh, my opponent's Gemini deck down. He did have a uh, Gemini Spark set. But um, it, it, it wouldn't help him obviously because Shien would negate it. Now here he tries to hit me with the old uh, Okie Doke, trying to port, get me to negate his uh, mystical space typhoon so he can Gemini spark me. But unfortunately, I wasn't gonna fall for that. Uh, I didn't really, I didn't really need some warning at this point. So, you no, know, I wasn't really fearing anything that Gemini's could throw out. So uh, this next duel is gonna be against uh, uh, Ghost Tricks. And there it is. And uh, let me switch the sides. So uh, my opponent is going first. He's gonna set a card. And what's this? Um, Gravity Axe Grawl. Grawl. Why is he playing that? Um, okay, <laughs> that's weird. Um, but um, yeah, I'm gonna go uh, go for Shien. Attack over his Junkie. Not gonna attack because I don't want him to get out a free card with the, uh, the Ghost Trick Mary, which he added off the uh, challenge sheet. And uh, basically, my plan here is to go for Armadies because Armadies absolutely wrecks um, Ghost Trick. So I'm gonna go for Armadies. This set is a hidden armory, pretty much a bluff, and obviously Shien can negate one card anyway. So I'm just gonna attack. He can't drop anything. Um, he's gonna set set and end, and uh, I'm going to uh, normal summon the Iro and attack over his face down, destroying the, well, destroying it automatically. And then I'm gonna attack with Armadies. Not gonna attack with uh, Chien because you know he can act obviously activate the Mary and get cards like that. So now he's gonna set the Mary. You know, I'm just gonna wait here. Just I'm gonna. I'm, man, this is my plan: attack with Iro and uh, then attack with Armadies. But he's going to uh, uh, special summon the Spectre, and then I'm going to attack over. It with Shien and then attack him directly with Armadies. And here it's do or die here, and he doesn't get anything. So there you go, Armadies is OP, especially against Ghost Tricks. I wonder why he's playing that Gravity Axe card, though. That's kind of weird. But uh, next duel is going to be against Photons, and uh, I believe I'm going first. So this this duel showcases the power of Grandmaster. So I'm going to go for Shien first turn, special summon a Grandmaster, and my turn there. Uh, his hand is not good whatsoever. He's gonna go for Photon Sanctuary, and I'm gonna shut that ish down because I I, I I didn't know what he was playing at that point, and I didn't want any hacks happening. So here I'm gonna normal summon the uh, Spirit, and then go uh, attach it to uh, Shien. Of course, he's gonna Mirror Force me, and he does get me with the Okie Doke this time because he's gonna Mirror Force me. Then Chain Link three activate the Phoenix Chain, but no big deal because Grandmaster is too powerful. I'm gonna activate his effect to uh, add himself when he's destroyed by a card effect. And I'm um, just special summoning him out again. So he draws to another Mirror Force. And uh, I'm not going to summon anything because I didn't want to run into like Tarantula or anything like that. So he's going to Mirror Force me again. No big deal. Let me just 
uh, get Grandmaster back, Normal Summon Ira, and Special Summon Grandmaster again. So every time he's struggling with a card effect, I'm going to come back. Now now he's going to attack with me. I knew he had Honest since he attacked into me, which was no big deal. I knew that was a desperation play, and with that card especially since it goes to defense mode, after it attacks, I'm just going to attack over with Iro now, and instead of E-Prism. And I'm in a pretty good position here. He drew, he drew into a Galaxy Seattle, which actually doesn't help him. And I got the Aestheticism. So what I'm going to go here do here is I was actually debating on what I wanted to go for and I ultimately decided on Barkeon because I saw the yeah, Photon Sanctuary. I also didn't want him to top deck like a Dark Hole or something and I would really pretty much lose at that point. So I felt like Naturia Beast was the best. Uh, did I say Barkeon the first time? Uh, whatever. Naturia Beast was the best option um, from a, as far as going for rank 5 is concerned. And now he pretty much can't do anything because if he top decks Photon Sanctuary or Dark Hole or something like that, Lightning Vortex, you know, you never know. He's gonna, you know, he can't do anything with it. So um, that that game pretty much shut him out there. So next duel we're gonna go is get some sort of plant type deck. I'm not really sure what this what type of deck this guy's running, but you know I'm gonna go for my standard first. Actually no, this is not the Sheen play, but I, I went for Spirit and uh, equipped it to Kizan just to get him you know powerful up. Uh, the Spirit of the Six Times Samurai is actually a really good card. It really it really uh, busted in, in combination with Sheen because Sheen can protect himself uh, if you have enough Six Samurai, and also Spirit will protect himself protect Sheen as well. And then now on top of that, whenever she destroys a monster by battle, you get to draw a card. And they don't even have to go to the graveyard, so you can destroy a token and still draw a card. So that's really, that's really, really good. So here he's going to go for the Slacker Magician after his battle fader in my direct attack. He's going to try and destroy all my cards with the Lightning Vortex, but I'm going to manga time of that. And I really don't have much other resources to get rid of this uh, Slacker Magician, so i got to hope I draw into something. So what I'm going to try to do is uh, activate this uh, Six Sam United and then Normal Summon the... Uh, what is the Elder? Uh, he actually plays some sort of Cluster Amaryllis. I don't even know what it is. What is this? Phoenixian Seed, which allows him to get a Phoenixian Cluster Amaryllis. And um, <laughs> that's that's uh, Kiza's cards. Um, anyway, so now I tried to uh, go for the Catastrophe to, to, to get rid of that Slacker Magician, but he wasn't having any of that as he Void Trap holds me. Is that what that is? Yes, Void Trap holds me. So uh, now I'm just going to go for Zanji, and Zanji can uh, destroy it because his effect does not target, so Slacker Magician cannot protect itself. Uh, with its secondary effect and it's destroyed by battle effects it would be destroyed by card effect that won't protect it either so that's what i was pretty much waiting for uh so now at this point it's my game i mean he's gonna go for the evil thorn and i guess maybe he forgot that uh since he activated duality he wouldn't get the other uh, evil thorns from the deck so now i'm gonna go for uh Shein just to make sure that you know back row isn't anything threatening although if it was i feel like he would have activated it at this point but uh, yeah, that's that's easily going to be game there. So we'll get into the last duel of this video, which is against the Slifer the Sky Dragon deck. And actually, this deck gave me some trouble. Uh, this guy was playing a pretty big deck, but he he opened up pretty pretty broken despite that. So he's going to set uh, two card two back row in the Marshmallow. So I will not I will not be able to get over that. So I'm going to normal summon the Iro, um, and then set a bottomless. And um, now he also has Cyril of Aura Calicos, which is cool too. Um, so this is this this is a straight up uh, you know Yu-Gi-Oh first season type of deck. So he's gonna activate Tiki Tiki Curse and Embodiment of a Pocus and then Tribute for Slifer. Um, I'm going to uh, Valor that because I actually thought that if you Valor Slifer, maybe I was hoping his attack wouldn't go back up, but uh, it, it actually doesn't matter. Um, so he he uh, Lightning Vortexes me, which is not a big deal. So now I'm gonna normal summon a card. I actually forgot about Slifer's other effect where he destroys a a monster. So actually, had I not done that, I actually would not have been able to make the correct play against it. So I'm going to summon both of my monsters in defense mode because that is the, the flaw to Slifer's ability is they have to be summoned when they're, it's only when they're summoned in attack mode. So now that I've gotten rid of the Slifer, now I'm going to go for uh, Sheehan so that way, you know, no Dark Hole, no Mirror Force, no Swords of Revealing Light as he activates here. None of that nonsense is going to be happening. I'm going to shut all that down now. So, uh, that was that. Yeah, had I not um, normal summoned the spirit and remembered about Slifer's secondary effect, I probably would have made a misplay with you know later on. So uh, that was really fortunate for me. But that's gonna do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, all the other good stuff. And I promise that I'll be uploading much more frequently. And uh, I'm out of here. Deuces.